Hello Pisces and welcome to your week of May 19th commencing uh, reading from Josie K and I'm Josie K and I this is for Pisces I've just gotten a lot of really clear messages um, I'm a Pisces son so um, everybody is going through the end of the ninth cycle of planets moving into a one year next year which means a lot of people are already getting over what they're going through and are ending up being able to start with a clean slate but Pisces are at the end of the whole line and it's like kind of stagnant but yet there's some things you've learned that might make you realize that where you are is where you belong. I guess that's a message I'm getting. So anyway, let's get started. I mean, there's here, there's what I see, and there's probably more coming, so I'm just going to kind of bring you up to date here, okay? Um, and this is Buster. Say hi. <laughs> anyway, um... Okay, so we're starting with, okay, oh gosh, I don't even remember which one I really did start with. Let's, I think it was with Rider Waite this time, and that was saying, this was the most bizarre thing. This is usually when a person goes within, they're taking a rest, almost like into like a coma state, like down here, just so deep within, trying to get beyond these that are the history, put on the wall to contemplate and what I never noticed for the first time ever is that there's like this church person or a parental guide. It's got to be like a pastor or something with a young person. And I don't know if that means something to anyone, but to me it meant that um, almost like talking to yourself and trying to work through childhood issues or working with a child and really going deep with the whole process and 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 I'm so proud because that is such a difficult thing to do but Pisces are like the ones that can maintain uh, emotional intensity and for a period of a time more than anyone else so but people don't think that but whatever um okay two of coins um so underneath that card I just sometimes lay them out and then I like to peek about what the story is behind them uh, there's a choice you were being stuck you didn't know for sure you're afraid it would leave you in the poorhouse if you made that choice and then something happened fast you did a complete 180 and thought about maybe a fire sign that you are with or have your eye on which is a Sagittarius Aries and Leo now this is just for now into the next week or so so this is all in the next couple weeks Something came down, stabbed you in the back. You had all these wonderful thoughts and things that could happen, but then it was just leading to nothing but fight, arguing, and the tower. Now you just want to be offered a little love and comforted in your home. Okay, so that's that. But that was kind of more in the past. Thank goodness. And we are now heading into the page. Can't pay. Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles says we have a brand new path. Now, sometimes it's with regards to love, and sometimes it's with regards to money, like it looks like a coin on here. In this case, I believe it's regards to love, and there's a little little walkway here you could go through to start a brand new path on the other side. So let's look behind that card. Temper, temper, you've been waiting, not feeling impatient, want to be the star in someone's world, but they're being stubborn, want to offering love, but the person either you're with or that has an eye on you is kind of holding the situation up. Coins, I mean, two of cups, I'm sorry, great card to see. And then followed by the not so great card to see. So much for that dream, it was a dream, Pisces. And then, yeah, it wasn't a good choice. So if you're going to go in a direction where you know it's not a good choice, don't take it. If it does, great, take it. Wonderful. Third card and final for the Rider Waite warning. <laughs> Reading is the Ten of Coins. Living happily ever after. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, offering love. Saying no to taking out to see someone who th you think is going to build you up into some beautiful castle of fantasy and money and... Yeah, 
no, no, that's coming to a three of swords. Yeah, that's a no. So I'd say you're still working hard on yourself, and I bet you agree with me that if you could take to the 22nd of May when, uh, I believe, Mercury goes direct or Mars goes direct. Either way, I mean, it's supposed to be a really big chill level for you to get into instead of where you have been. All right, so um, I'm going to switch over here from Rider Waite over to the Gateway to, of the, to the Divine Tarot. First card I saw, which was not so great, was this Five of Wands. Is there a five? Yeah. Yeah, that's fighting, no doubt, in the past, over money maybe. Justice, what's the right thing? Who owes what? Who feels stuck? Who has the strength to get out of a poor situation and start making some money? Mm, or that came to an end. And this could be for different people, you know. This could be each partial part and, you know, section I read could be for different people. And I, you know, because spirit is all coming in at the same time when you do a reading like this for a group of, it helps that it's for Pisces, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so we started out kind of in a battle. We really wanted to take off like this. We wanted to get in a boat and just say, I don't care what's going to stab me along the way. I am just going to head the heck out of here and then you're running into a queen of swords air sign aquarius libra gemini it's kind of left you kind of stuck and sitting there and yep there's a one a fire sign sag aries or leo that is just telling you to chill the heck out pisces you're up at night you can't figure out what you want to figure out you do feel like the sun you do feel like you've got it all figured out but yet you just there's some confusion because you put so much work into something and then there's a path and then you want this happy love life but then of course there's always somebody coming in saying I'll give you this and offer you that and every time I look at that that comes to a tower so don't do that okay next one ten of swords if you do that I feel not only will people who care about you be mad but pe that person's not going to treat you well Someone's going to have to race in and fix you, probably, or help you. <laughs> probably the fire sign. Uh, there's a contract, maybe a new relationship that you have on your mind. If you head that way, you will be sad, and you'll want to probably come back home. I mean, there's a little section here of should I or shouldn't I again, and then you get the fool. But you got to remember that the fool was right next to this, just like this. Mm -hmm. He's saying, don't do that. I'm not going anywhere near that. Okay, so, um, yeah, so where are we? We're here. And I'm sure the fool is going to tell that same story. Yeah, he's my soulmate. I want to get out from under all my responsibilities, go after all this path, have a lot of fun, but everything's just holding me down. I can't make choices. Ooh, here's a path an earth sign is offering me. And yet in the back of my mind, or actually, no, over here, and I'm hearing is that work is wanting to offer you some good stuff too. So that might be a good place to put your mind. I think we just said that. One good thing is it's, it is actually... Ended by the world. You're getting close, Pisces. End by the world, end by the world. And the best part is, is we started with the world with the Gilded Tarot deck. So we've got two world cards. Yeehaw. All right. And so the world card in the Gilded Tarot, which is kind of the past up leading up to now, has you going full circle with yourself. And if it's right to love certain people. Wow, I feel like I just said this. Um, who are greedy with their money or their uh, emotions. Um, Ace of Wands, a new path, wouldn't work out. Three of Swords, wow, ran into that. So we're thinking of moving forward and making better choices in our life so that we may have good juju, right? Jojo's juju. All right, so the Hierophant, Hierophant says judgment. Yeah, you've got a young one you're dealing with, keeping you up at night, not knowing what to do, wanting a new path. Wanting to just leave everybody else with the responsibility where you go off and try and do, but you know better. Eventually, after the struggle's over, which it will be soon, hold on a little longer. Five of Pentacles, wanting to go off and get married. You know, I think you can. I don't think it's going to be with an earth sign. I think it's if 
you got an offer to get married, I would say it's going to be a fire sign, Sagittarius Leo, in the future. Now, this kind of worried me because we had two worlds and then we had this for an outcome. What's it an outcome of? Okay, not sure of something that you were thinking about related to someone who had money, um, wanted to make a choice. Something said yes. He might have said yes, earth sign, and tried to come back and bring up stuff from your childhood and blah, blah, blah. And on the very bottom of that, it says, look at this is twice this happened or three times, whatever. Do not go that way. I warn you. I warn you. Not right now. Everything is just a temporary pass in time and then new things start and things change and people change. And this is just for right now, all of this. Okay, so Nine of Wands is saying, I'm done, I'm tired, I hit my wall. I want out. Somebody just let me find the path to Hawaii. Where's the door open? Um, Three of Cups comes. King of Pentacles is looking. Yeah, offering a party. No, don't run off. Don't run off. Star. You will feel like the star. That was the the uh, crowning card for the Gilded Tarot was the star. So this is you. Yay. Let's see. You've been thinking hard about money, what you're going to do, and if somebody races in, and how you're going to handle that. Hmm. You'll handle it beautifully. Okay. Now. The Angel Dorian Virtue cards say this real quickly. I'm just going to run across the top of them. I have four laid out. Defend your beliefs and your decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Challenging information, delays, or, cha or changes to, of two plans. Deliv truth delivered without tact. Eh, happens. All right. The power of creativity, recognition uh, for very high quality work. And I do feel like that's what's going to come up. Something's going to jump up and go, hey, we need you for this right now. And then you can like kind of shove all this other junk to the side until you can deal with it at some other time. Um, Night of Fire, which is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and rest restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully because that is a Sag. And they're come charging in to say, I think to say... I love you, and then they may have a plan of action. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Goodness, must be allergy season. Um, so to end this or close this reading for today for Pisces for this week into the week of May 9th and on because I was running a little late, I'm going to ask for... A card from the Messages from Your Angels deck, Spirit Guides, Angels, and my dear Lord in Heaven, please bless these cards so that we may receive an accurate meeting, reading message for Pisces for this week on into May, the week of May 9th. Pisces, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help your work, help you work on your divine life purpose. Now, this reminds me that I did talk to someone else who got the same situ kind of reading card situation. And this is another thing that's happening. It was flipped over. All these cards were that way, and Carissa was sitting up this way. So we'll get into that in a second. That was weird. All right. You're healing, okay? You're healing a lot, and you're doing really super good work, Pisces. Oh, my gosh. So much good work. And, like, I'm so proud, even of myself, I should say out loud, because I've been really working on some hard stuff, and I need to get back to my other job one of these days, but things got really difficult again yesterday, so. Carissa, it says, you're at the end of a life uh, uh, cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Look at that. Now, didn't I say you wanted to get away and go somewhere? How'd you like to just sit under there? Isn't that a beautiful card? Sit right by the ocean and just chill for a while. But I'm going to read the first card, who was Archangel Michael, and we do not want to never not acknowledge him. This means that your family, spirits, animal spirits, spirits of all kinds are around you right now, blessing you and helping you because of the hard work you are doing. Let's see if I can find... No, oh, did I see Carissa? I did. All right, let's do this one because this is like for everybody, okay? 
You feel sad as if your heart is breaking as a result of this ending. Allow yourself to cry and grieve, but know that we angels are near you right now. When you are ready, we will gently show you how this ending brings new blessings into your life. But for now, the sadness that you feel may reveal new insights to you. It might inspire you to finish a project where you have been procrastinating or take better care of yourself, for example. Okay, it's important for you to express your feelings duration this time of transition. See, it's a transition. Okay, either keep a journal, talk to a trusted friend, join a support group, or discuss everything with us angels. The more you can release, the freer that you will feel. Watch out for self-destructive tendencies which can arise from misguided guilt. I will help you take excellent care of yourself during this transition if you will call upon me. Archangel Caressa, remember... Whenever you need a hug, just ask, and you will feel me envelop you with my wings. Well, whether you believe in angels or not, it's nice to know they're there as far as I'm concerned. And uh, sometimes when I do ask for them, I do feel a weird warmth. I, I will say, put your, arm, your wings around me, please, and comfort me now. And I can just feel like all of a sudden everything just kind of... All right, so Pisces, this was so special for you because I just know the pain and the intensity and how much you guys wear your heart on your sleeve. And I'm one of you, and it's painful, but there are so many people that love you. I know there is, and they're going to help you get through this. Give it a month. You'll be out fishing, laying out in the sun, whatever you normally do, and you'll be ready to chill. I'll see you third week of May. Have a great first part of May and I'll talk to you soon.